Welcome to the eighth video in the Getting Started with Analyst Notebook series. In this video, we'll look at the Style Toolbar in the ribbon menu of Analyst Notebook. The toolbar is divided into three sections. The Font section controls how text is displayed. Entity Styles controls the appearance for entities, and Link Styles controls the appearance of links. In addition, there are four further tools on the right-hand side that can be applied to any item or the entire chart. We will start by opening the Example 1 Finish Chart. This can be found using the Example Material Shortcut or in the Import Specifications area. The location and installation of the Example Materials was covered in detail in the Getting Started Example Materials video. Let's select the three telephones with the largest number of calls between them. Using the Fonts section of the Style tool, we can set the label to bold with the text in red and a yellow highlight to emphasize these three telephones. Using the Entity Style section of the toolbar, we can change the style of the selected entities. We can add a colored frame around the entity to draw the viewer's attention, and can also apply background shading to the icon to differentiate the key items. The Reset Style tool on the far right can be used to set an item back to its original charted style, removing any of the style changes to the selected items. We will now select a link on the chart and use the Link Styles tools to change its appearance, changing its color to red and increasing the line width. The Enlargement tool in the Entity Style section increases or decreases the size of the selected entities. Here we've made the telephone twice or 200% its normal side without changing the size of the label text. Now let's take a look at another example chart. The Example 3 Finished Chart. On this chart, we have a theme line for an event at Jellicoe's Bar on the left-hand side of the chart. Using the Entity Styles tool, we can set the width and color of that theme line. For links on this chart, using the Line Strength tool in the Link Style menu allows us to change the link representation to indicate confirmed, unconfirmed or tentative information. The Set Picture tool provides the option to set an image to represent an entity on a chart, either by pasting an image from the clipboard or by opening a saved image file. In this example, we've replaced the entity icon with a picture of the actual vehicle, which is now shown on the chart. The Display tool within either the Entity or Link Styles menu allows the selection of which chart properties are displayed on the chart for the selected item. In this example, we switched off the Description property from being displayed on the chart. We will now take a look at the Change Representation tool. If we select some entities on the chart and use this tool, we can change how these items are displayed on the chart, change them to theme lines, event frames, or icons, for example. Here we'll change the selected event frames to icons. This does not remove any data in the chart, only how it is represented on the chart surface. The Emphasize tool menu allows the user to increase or decrease the entire item size including its label. This is slightly different to the enlargement tool in the Entity Style menu. Let's now take a look at the Example 4 Finished Chart and use the Conditional Formatting tool. Conditional Formatting allows the user to set up rules that change the style of items based on their properties to automatically emphasize key information on the chart. Some Conditional Format Specification examples are provided with Analyst Notebook. By selecting the Save Specifications menu option, you can view any specifications that have been saved. The example specifications will be displayed here if they have been installed. If the examples have not been installed, the Install Example Material option on the left-hand side will copy them into your installation of Analyst Notebook. We will select one of the example specifications, Enlarge Frames with Most Links, and use the Right-Click Menu Format option to apply it to the chart we have open now. Here we can see that those entities with the most links are displayed with a larger frame than those with a smaller number of links, emphasizing the number of connections nicely. As well as the Save Specifications dialog we've looked at, there is a Conditional Formatting pane, which gathers all the specifications and actions into a dockable panel. We will use the Edit right-click menu item to take a look at the contents of the example specification we've just used. Each specification is made up of one or more formatting rules. In this case, there is just a single rule. 
If we click Edit, we can see how the rule is defined. This rule is set up to format entities based on the Entity Links Analysis attribute, which is a count of the number of links on an entity. Setting the icon frame margin size based on a gradual scale controlled by the value of the Entity Links Analysis attribute. In other words, make the frame bigger dependent on the link count for the entity. Let's now create our own specification to further emphasize certain data on the chart. In the task pane, we click New Specification, and then within that specification, create a new rule. For this rule, we will format the links which have an attribute property of dollar amount applied to them. We would like to change the line color for these where the dollar amount is greater than to or equal to $20,000. We will change the color of these links to red. Now that we've defined the first rule, we can apply it directly to our chart before saving the specification by using the Format button. We now have four links displayed in red, but we need to do more to emphasize them. So we'll add a new additional rule to our specification. The new rule uses the same attribute, but this time we will set the line width based on a threshold or range for the dollar amount. In this case, links with the dollar amount attribute of more than $20,000 will be displayed with a line width of 10. Once again, we use the format button to see the effect on the chart. If we're happy with the result, we can save the conditional formatting specification for potential reuse. If I close the current chart without saving it and then reopen it, I can apply my save conditional formatting specification to it as well as the example specification we used earlier to restyle the chart to emphasize those accounts and transactions. Note that the saved conditional format specifications can be applied to any chart so long as the data structure of the chart contains the same properties or analysis attributes as are used in the specification. For example, the enlarged frame specification can be used on any chart with links as the link count analysis attribute is available on all charts. In summary, we've looked at the Styles toolbar and how it can be used to emphasize data on your chart, as well as how to set up conditional format specifications to automatically apply style changes to your chart based on information in the chart. Please look out for the next video in the series and thanks very much for your time.